It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Thinking of bad ways to go, we have a story oh, about freeze it. freeze to death? Yeah. No, you know, even better. We got a, a body found at the... As you know, uh, this is kind of a... Uh, Lake Mead is kind of light on the water right Kinda. now. Kind of. Uh, 50 of years it's never been this low. A drought. But it's obviously, when that happens and these reservoirs go down, things start showing up on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Secrets like a body themselves. in a barrel. A body in a barrel. Yeah. That's right. Over the weekend, they found a body in a barrel in Lake Mead. May have been the victim of a murder up to 50 years ago. Oh. May have been. What, do you think somebody jumped into a barrel, closed themselves off? Hey, this is a Niagara Falls. <laughs> and and <laughs> shot themselves eight times. I mean, maybe I there's, mean, a, maybe there's a family on. family that saved a few thousand bucks on a burial. <laughs> oh, Just put Uncle Clarence in the barrel, no. weld it shut, and toss him in. <laughs> Homicide <laughs> Lieutenant Ray Spencer said detectives believe the victim who's remained were found in a 50-gallon drum, was killed in the mid-70s or early 80s based on the clothing and shoes the man was wearing. Was he wearing like a Magic Johnson t-shirt or something? Or? Doesn't say that. Vegas police say the shoes found on the body were sold at Kmart and manufactured in the mid and late 70s. They think it's mob-related. Mob-related? Yeah. There's no such thing as the mob, Christy. Okay. Well, I... But that, Shut up about it. There <laughs> might be more, they say, too. You yeah. keep your mouth quiet. I, they say that the shoes were sold at Kmart. Yeah, they sold shoes. But, I mean, the guy's obviously not a high roller <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, I, I, you can even judge. find a way to judge a dead man. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Buying shoes That's what the police Kmart? have to do. They, 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 can you it's imagine? A mo- they think it's a mob hit, and he's complaining yeah. about the shoes he was wearing. Look at this. Complaining. Look at this cheap bastard. Yeah. Uh. No, the police have to figure out who this guy is, and so these, the body is clothed, mm-hmm. and they were able to pinpoint the fact that the shoes came from Kmart. I'm not sure how, did, did Kmart have its own line of shoes? I don't, I don't know. know. I never bought, well. Maybe um, a serial number is there. The FBI out of has a section of footwear. Oh, I bet. Like yes. these different uh, treads and yes. uh, mm-hmm. yeah. What were you going to say, Willie? Chick McGee, yes. you are sitting at home. An FBI agent comes to your door. Yeah. They go, I know we said we wouldn't bother you anymore, but we have one last job for you. You know shoes better than any man I know. That's right. This is the beginning of a movie. And you have to identify size 12 Nikes from 07 no. to 2015. You know what I tell the agent? I told you I was retired. Yes. <laughs> I don't do this anymore. <laughs> then they, no, then they put you with Willie, and you're like a team. What happened? And Willie's the gung ho kid, and you're the crabby old guy that wants to be retired and watch TV. Yeah, you know, that's fine, chick. But uh, what happened to my ex-wife in Brussels? I got to tell you, the man we're after killed your ex-wife. I got to buy that guy dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this, well, this backfired on me. No, no, I, I got what, if we I pay, meet, what if we paid you twenty five thousand dollars? I got to meet him and the twenty five k. Let's go. <laughs> National Park Service officials are saying that an aggressive horse at the Assateague yeah. Island National Seashore in Maryland. <laughs> Wait, what are you? What of it? Is being relocated. Now, you're, you're missing the point. The what name, are you looking at? What's the name of the place again? Assateague. That you be uh, acetig? Oh yeah, he's and been on this all morning. You're giggling like a schoolgirl. Yes. Because it starts with the ass. Yeah. Acetig Island. It end with it's ass. being relocated to a wildlife sanctuary in Texas. You don't even like asses. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you think they're disgusting? You like the uh, an ass the size of a house cat? We all know it. Park Service official said the. I like a crack. In my asses. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of Mitch Miller's lesser hits. Everybody. I like, like a crack. In my asses. asses. Yes. And I like it. cleavage on my boobs. On my boobs. And a like hole it. in my penis. <laughs> oh, so the be. urine uh, can get No, no, I'll finish. So it. It's my song. I'll, I'll finish writing so it. I, just, I mean, <laughs> acid heaks. It sounds like the, the Justice League. Is meaning at Assateague for the. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Assateague. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Assateague, 
It doesn't so, matter what's going on in Assateague because yeah, you don't mean get horse. Well, it was an story. aggressive horse that did what? Yeah, they moved somebody? him. They're just moving him to a wildlife sanctuary in Texas. Yeah, you're right. So they're moving him from Assateague Island, which to is... Delegates, uh, the harem stallion delegates pride has become aggressive with visitors and staff <laughs> in pursuit of human food. The wild horse had been involved in more than half of the incidents that have resulted in injuries for visitors in sounds, the last five years. Sounds like you got a taste yeah, Christy, of you were food. right. We, we didn't care. Right? No, no th this is great. They're moving this horse from, what is it, Maryland? To Texas. Assateague Island to, to, to protect the horse. It's a nice, sweet story. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think I there's... Why you, uh, if you like horse movies, why do you find this interesting? I, I'm i just concerned. I, I'm i just con kind of concerned that there's going to be some kind of a barbecue going on when he leaves Assateague Island. Uh, no, there... You know, I've all of a sudden, this, heard... this horse is going to be part of a chili cook-off. <laughs> oh I've always heard that horse meat is absolutely delicious. What? Yes, mm -hmm. they, I've always I know heard you that. can get it in France. Yeah. But wow. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I prefer my horses galloping. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you've, now, you've had horse meat before, right, Chick? No. But it upset your stomach? Didn't it give you the trots? <laughs> oh, I, he, he, he slow pitched it to you. I, I know. I couldn't uh, think of trots. <laughs> it's all right. No? It's all right. Runs yeah. doesn't fit. Well, that, uh, 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 trots a teague is, of course, right near the as a teague. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. thankfully, they didn't move him to another silly sounding town. He's oh, no. being moved to Bum Hump, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a very special edition. Of uh, Alley Brain Show, we call it Sexy Time. We don't have any Sexy Time music. I'm having it worked on right now. <laughs> it's coming. Uh, it'll be coming soon. Uh huh. Sexy and um, since Allie cannot be here today, she, she's going to be calling us, I believe, on Friday. Yeah. So um, will the music asked, be already Friday? We've asked the ladies <laughs> to. Uh, Where's that old porn music that you had earlier this week? There we go. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen. Time now for Sexy Time with our guest host, Christy Lee. No, how about and this? Jessica, oh. Jessica oh. How about this? I'm crazy. It's oh, a dumpy yeah. dance. Dump him, dump him, dump him, dump him. Dump him. Dump him. I'm still getting in the girls' pants. And I don't even got my own dance. <laughs> <laughs> I do the hump the hump. I do the hump the hump. You got that down? I do the hump the hump. How can you not dance to this? Very nice. I do me, baby. That's so good. Well, now, do our uh, first letters have anything to do with doing the hump? Uh, no, dear Allie, it was my girlfriend's birthday last week, and I took her out to dinner, and we went back to spend the night at her place. She owes you sex. When I woke up... <laughs> no, Josh. It's the, it's the state law. <laughs> There's a conversation about consent here. Let's oh, see. Oh, oh. When I woke up the next morning, mm -hmm. I realized there was a huge bouquet of flowers on the dining room table. When I asked who they were from, she kind of stuttered her way through saying some girl's name who I didn't know. They're absolutely from a guy, right? I don't really know what to do about this. It seems like she's cheating or at least hardcore flirting with someone. Oh, you read the first part of the, what? Read the first couple sentences again. It was his girlfriend's birthday. He took her to dinner. They went back to okay. spend the night at her place. When he woke up the next morning, he realized that she had this large bouquet of okay. flowers on her so dining what? room table. So, but officially girlfriend. So I guess that means there's an, a certain exclusivity. I would implied. assume. Yeah, but yeah. she said it was from her friend, a female friend. No, she's lying. She obviously. stuttered her way through saying some girl's name who I didn't know. It's from Steve uh, Arena. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely name. John Nessa. Yeah, it could have been her ex trying to win her back, and she I, didn't want yeah, to Yeah, exactly. She's not trying to say anything. She's right. with you, dude. Don't yeah. worry about it. Anybody can send flowers. Hit them. So he was so drunk when he went to bed, he didn't notice the roses. No, the lights may have been off, or they didn't go to the kitchen or whatever. Yeah, why would you? Do you look in your dining room before you go to bed every night? I bet you do. You check out. I don't have a dining room. Oh, yeah. I don't have a dining room. Of course room. you don't. You got one of those Ebenezer Scrooge nightcaps on. <laughs> candle, and you're checking every corner. <laughs> your slippers. Every now and then. I slumber. I must. Who goes, goes there? there? Oh, yeah. I can just see you now. Tom, will you come to bed? No, wait. Wait. Finley is following is him in a matching Marley? outfit, checking yeah. everything. Oh, oh, wouldn't you see him? It, never mind. I'm out of the Did you say mood. apartment? Wouldn't you walk in? I'm haunted by the shadows of it the It just says her place. Maybe it's a big place. Maybe she has a home. Right. That's not a, That's not the thing. You would never see my <laughs> dining room if you went to my house or went to the bedroom. You, know you would not go As by usual, my dining room. As usual, you're getting caught up in something that doesn't make <laughs> <Right>. squat. <laughs> right. Dear Allie, I got accepted to my boyfriend's 
ex's Instagram account by using my fake profile. Oh, no, no. Wow, you sound oh. like a real life. I hate, I hate oh, this already. What a nice lady, not. <laughs> hear her out. Hear her out. I was just going on there to stalk her. Uh-huh. Oh, that's all. Relatively yeah. speaking, but saw that my boyfriend has been liking some of her posts. It's weird because they don't even follow each other anymore. Am I crazy that this really bothers me? Oh, you don't have to How say anything after I'm crazy. Am I crazy? <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. No, you're her, nuts. She is crazy. Her boyfriend, they don't follow each other, but he's obviously looking up his ex and still liking some of her posts. So or what? it's so a group what? photo. Someone posted it in their Instagram story. He followed it from the story to the account and liked it. That's a super easy way it can happen. You are. Happy. Do this man a favor. Break up with him. Yeah. Please. Please. Yeah. No kidding. This is nuts, man. God, you stalk your boyfriend's ex-girlfriend? No. No, no, no. I well, have... I was using my fake profile. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah, right? Fake profiles. Did you, you wrote in, ma'am, thinking we would uh, uh, just go along with this? You go, girl. Wait. Don't let her get away. That's your man. <laughs> you hear her out. You just have Thank to have you. a conversation with your um, boyfriend. Whoa. And you're like, excuse me. What? Are you... He's my man. Talking yeah. with your ex still, because I noticed uh, from some friends. For those of you listening that... on the radio, for the husband <laughs> has uh, taken out a uh, lightsaber and is waving it about. Do okay. you and look at have lightsaber fights at home? Those are nice. That's cool. All oh, that it make, makes a noise and everything. It's a lot of fun. It's half a Darth Maul's lightsaber. Okay. All right. But, uh, Dear Allie, I'm dating a Greek guy, and when we go to his family's house... <laughs> Break up boy, boys what? by hand <laughs> over. <laughs> Don't really have to go much farther, do you? <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's pretty much... She makes a great balaclava, but what are the other... Baklava. 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 Yeah, balaclava. That's the thing that's that race car driver's way. Okay, sorry. When we go to his family's house, they all speak Greek around me, and it feels like they're making fun of me. They are. They all can speak English, so I get annoyed with my boyfriend for allowing this. Am I being bitchy or am I right? Uh, maybe a little column A, column B in this situation, honestly. Yeah. Who doesn't get a little paranoid when Greek column you can't speak what everybody <laughs> right. else can? And you know they're talking about you probably. Well, like, yeah, you, you assume. Done. It's easy to assume. but Sure. Hmm. Well, they can speak English, but if Greek is their first language and they're more comfortable exactly. in the family setting, right. they're going to talk like they talk the way they're Yeah, no, but she's the guest. They should defer to her. Boy, well, aren't you two Mr. and Mr. Benefit of the Doubts, aren't you? <laughs> I tend boy, to be, oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah, he is. He's really? so forgiving. Yeah, well, I, just, I, I, I tend to Believe Here's what people? you should do. What? Here we she go. should find yeah, someone voice who's, of reason. who's fluent in Greek. <laughs> yes. And have her just study the phrase, by the way, I understand every word you're saying, in Greek. <laughs> and when they're doing all this, suddenly look up and go, in Greek, you know, whatever it would be, I understand everything you're saying and see what their response is. If they all go, uh oh. Yeah. What if they but keep, talking, keep talking, in talking in Greek? In Greek? And yeah. Then yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can you can be able to. I like this idea, but I think there's a gentler phrase, um, like. Uh, I would record it and then have my friend who speaks Greek tell me what they're saying. See, now we're going to crazy town. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot of See, My idea is like supposed to be better. kind of humorous. Uh, and then, or you have someone teach you how to agree in Greek to say, yes, you're right, Dad, my ass is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, Dad. What about, what, um, uh, have, what if the phrase was, have I never told you that I speak fluent Greek? Oh. And then just see how they react. That kind of thing. Yeah, but what... So it's not accusatory. So then what happens when they know you're lying? Yeah, they're going to start laughing. Just say I speak They're going to start Greek. laughing and realize that, okay, this is really right, troublesome right. for her. Let's not do this. Won't again. the boyfriend translate? Well, that's her main issue, right? Is that the boyfriend's not saying right. anything. Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah, you need to get but to they're having it. fun speaking, in, like Willie said, potentially their first language. Duolingo. It's a great app. You can learn Greek pretty fast. So start trying to... I love to her songs. Duolingo? Duolingo? Yeah, she's du good. Duolipo or whatever. Duolipo. I'm learning Greek. Oh, sorry. Duolipo. That's different language. Okay. We have time for one, one more. more. What do you got? Dear Allie, I just got invited to a wedding by a friend of mine that I absolutely do not want to hook up with. I'd go as friends, but is it rude to be like, yes, I'll go, but zero chance of anything romantic happening? Well, just say, oh, you'll, but, but, but only say I'll go, but only as friends. Yeah. Well, that's easy enough. And then he might go, all right, well, I'm going to take somebody who's more of a sure bet. Right. Mm -hmm. So he would appreciate knowing up front, yes. like, not leading him on. It's yes. okay to go as a friend, so he's not going alone. Yeah, so it's, I'm sorry. Which, so it's just because Who was invited to the wedding, him or her or both? The girl was invited to a wedding with the guy. But I mean, the wedding. She will be his plus one. Okay, okay. Is it assumed that if they go to the wedding, they're going to hook up? I the don't guy, know. the guy, I know this because I have guy, guy friends that have done this. The guy thinks they're going to hook up. Make sure you get separate rooms or room with separate beds. Right. Don't let this guy get into any funny business. Let him know right away. 
Yeah. Hey, I'd like to go just as friends. Just meet him at the rehearsal hall or whatever, the church. Mm-hmm. Don't even ride together. Get your own place, maybe. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. You're talking about the destination. See, no, right? It depends. Yeah, this is the, Christie's right here. If, if if this involves you know t- t- flying somewhere. It this, may not. But in general, I'd say don't go because it's I, a wedding. I, you know, and, I'm starting to agree. I agree. Especially if it's certain religions where you're going to be sitting there for like three hours. Hey, uh, hey, just hey. say no thanks. People in weird hats running around <laughs> speaking weird foreign hats. languages. Plus, yeah. you're going to be, well, <laughs> he's going to be introducing you to people and well, stuff no, like that. But, Josh, oh. you're missing, especially if it's a foreign kind of wedding with people talking different languages yeah. and weird, weird hats. hats. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. those weird hats. Guys on yeah. stage <laughs> with weird beards. Like yeah, weird beards and hats. And curls coming down from their head. That is annoying, though. Is, like, is, is, so nice boy, is, is it an open bar? There's all kinds of questions you have to get. Does he have money? Yeah. Just to say no thanks. Oh, don't, go. don't go. Tell him you're not going and then show up and say, hey, I, I, I got to go, but leave me alone or something. I don't know. Well, that's an insane thing to do. Why just is to that? say I'm not going and then just show up? Yeah, just show up. Then Why he not? thinks you want him. That is a weird move. <laughs> <laughs> weird. <laughs> I think did I did I mention the AK? You bring that along too. <laughs> okay, Clear the room. Some, we've done some good work here. Thank you very much. We never do any good work. We'll be having nobody. Yellow. Remember this: nobody wants to come to your wedding. Okay, don't invite people. Elope. Period. <laughs> End of story. Even you, Willie. I'm sorry. You're not going to come to my wedding when no. I find a lady that wants to settle down with Old Will. No. Oh, wow. I love going to weddings. Is that kind of marriage legal here yet? <laughs> <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's a great joke. Bro. I will come to your wedding, Will. Thank you, Christy. I'm going to do 12 No Lights Deep having fun. Yeah. It will be fun. I will walk you down the aisle. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Somehow, Whether you like it or not. Somehow, I think I'll have to pay for it. I'm sure um, you'll be running errands somewhere, Dad. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.